I don't want to say yes or no about the theory that there could be a rebel group attacking the police. All I know is we've instructed the police not to arrest people unless they have very strong circumstantial evidence. This business of arresting people on suspicion without credible evidence that can stand the test of court. Uh, we've tried to restrain people from doing it. The one carrying out illegal arrest should be responsible for illegal arrest, and illegal arrest are uh, illegal, as you said. Whoever is carrying out illegal arrest should be arrested. So if you are arresting people and confining them in an incarcerated detention centers, then you should be arrested yourself because you're committing a crime. You're breaching the law. When a government starts abducting its citizens, then it's no longer government. People get arrested, not abducted. Why should the government arrest its, uh, abduct its citizens? Where do you think the most have abducted them? People are supposed to be arrested and confined in places of confinement. Whoever arrests people and puts them in non-gazetted places of detention is a criminal. That one should be followed and arrested also because you have no right to abduct a citizen. If you have reason to believe that Otafira has committed a crime, arrest him. Put him in a gazetted place of detention and produce him before a court. If you think the, it was mistaken identity or there is no sufficient evidence, release them.